Welcome back. Well, it's a big week for Airbus and the Gulf Coast. The company's first final assembly line in the U.S. officially gets to work this week. With more A320s headed to the skies, though, there's a growing demand for people to fly them. So I traveled to Miami to find out how one business is meeting the demand for training new pilots for the A320. Airbus will soon be cranking out four A320 or A321s a month from its Mobile assembly line. Good news for Airbus and Mobile and for airline pilots who want to fly them. My destination, Miami International Airport. And the Pan Am International Flight Training Center. Pilots come here from all over the world to learn to fly just about everything. The Pan Am name has been in existence since the 1920s. Once a worldwide air carrier, now one of the leading destinations for flight training in the world. Our core business is training. The people here at Pan Am say they were excited to hear about the Airbus assembly plant in Mobile, and they believe it'll be a huge impact on the aviation industry across the country. Because then that generates more opportunities for, for us to train pilots. Former pilot Ralph Leach is showing me the absolute latest technology for training pilots. Pan Am just installed its newest A320 flight simulator last month. True Simulator, spelled T-R-U, is owned by Textron. It's the same company that owns Bell Helicopter, Cessna, Beechcraft, to name a few. It's the most realistic simulator on the planet. Sound injecting motion uh, through the data package that the aircraft manufacturer provides to simulator manufacturers and then replicates all the movements of the aircraft. That means aircraft makers like Airbus send specific information about how the plane is designed to react in certain situations, from takeoff to landing and everything it could encounter in between. Instead of hydraulics, this simulator uses electrical impulses to create actual movements an aircraft could or should make. It's a lot different than the old days of flight simulators and comparatively cost less. Before, what happened is that they caught the, the aircraft's nose and they stimulated all the parts. So everything you had behind was the real avionics boxes mm -hmm. of the aircraft, which made it very expensive. The big difference is this simulator, and one you might be familiar with, you know, something like this. Inside, it's an exact replica of an A320 cockpit. So anyone that, that receives an A320 from today on will train in a simulator that is exactly like the aircraft. It's like the ultimate flight simulator. It is the ultimate it flight simulator. It is the ultimate flight simulator. <laughs> wow. So does it really feel like a real plane? Yes, it does, as a matter of fact, uh, because uh, there's motion they can turn off and on mm -hmm. if they want to, but with the motion on, the whole thing moves. Right. And if you... You know, if you crash, which we didn't do, mm -hmm. it you would feel the the wow. jolt of, of of the crash. You know, mm -hmm. before everything just just stops. But uh, yeah, neat. well, I mean, we'll take you inside the thing uh, tonight. You, you saw a little of it, uh, but we took a little bit of a, a flight, a little mm -hmm. hop, and um, you know, for the time that they had available in the thing. Because right. the the other thing is that they're very busy, uh -huh. and we only had a, a small window to be able to use that particular simulator. Uh -huh. So yeah, very it's a neat. brand new one. Yeah. All right, looking forward to that. All right, we'll keep it right here. Your time now is 624. We're coming right back. Now, John Nodar with First Alert Weather. Well, it was just four days ago, big day, when Airbus held the grand opening of its final assembly line in Mobile. The company hopes to have even more A320 airplanes in the air in the U.S. soon, thanks in part to the Mobile assembly line. With more A320 airplanes ready to fly, more airline pilots certified to fly them will be needed. And one business in this country is gearing up to meet the expected demand. That's right. I traveled to Miami recently to find out what pilots have to go through and what it takes to fly the A320. As more of these take to the skies in the years to come, more and more pilots will be coming here. Each year, hundreds of pilots head down to the Pan Am International Flight Training Center in Miami, and more and more of them are training on the A320. They know how to fly big, sophisticated airplanes already. They just don't know how to fly an A320. The reason why they come here is simple. Flying real planes is expensive and at times can be dangerous. These simulators take those elements away. Pan Am just installed this newest A320 simulator last month. And Ralph Leach offered to take us through a short instructional flight on this high-tech machine. It's like the ultimate flight simulator. 
It is the ultimate flight simulator. It is the ultimate flight simulator. And that's true. This is the actual cockpit of an A320, complete with computer software created with information from Airbus that virtually recreates the response of the airplane. We're just taking a short hop around Miami and back again with the help of project engineer Stefan Sobel. Okay, this is the main pilot's instrument. This right. is the attitude indicator. Uh, up, you know, pitch up, pitch down. Many modern jetliners are known as fly-by-wire, meaning electronics control everything. And this aircraft pilots basically oversee a series of systems that are controlled by computers. That's realistic. It's a very realistic view. And it doesn't take long to get going. Am I taking us out here? Yep. Just wait a sec. Okay. Got to get going fast enough. Where the one comes down, when it comes back, you want to pull back on the stick to get okay. the square yeah. pull back. Pull back, pull back, keep on, keep on, pull. While most everything on the A320 is automated, this system is designed for pilots to experience any number of conditions inside and outside the plane. They're taught to do it with all of automation and they're also taught to do it in all kinds of degraded conditions, including right the minimum condition where you only have a few instruments working. On our flight, we experience nightfall, then storm clouds, then rain. So will it, will it land itself? Yep. Really? But that's no fun at all. So. <laughs> but in my case, landing was the sobering part of the flight. Watch it. 40, 30, 20. Pretty murky here. 10, retard, retard. Yeah, we didn't crash, so that's all right. <laughs> Pan Am invested in the newest simulator to fill the growing demand for pilot training. Their only worry is a documented decline in the number of people these days who want to become an airline pilot. Now you're saying that it feels very realistic when you're when you're in the simulator. I, I mean, you 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 if you were just put in there blindfolded, you might uh -huh. not be able to to determine whether you're in a simulator or a real airplane. Wow, did you it's crash at all? <laughs> Everybody asked me that. Why? <laughs> I don't know. No, we did not crash. Very good. Yeah.